IPW Television is back with another two big events. Here's your host, Adam Sanders, and this guy, uh, Jim Summers, who knows what the hell it is. Tonight, first matchup, la two big beefy boys, Lax and Arthur and Josh Cadwell. Just two big beefy boys slapping meat. The biggest legs in the industry taking on the Lord's Warrior in our opening matchup, and then in our main event, Anarchy rules the championship on the line. BJ Laredo defends against the hillbilly hound dog, Draco. It's gonna be violent. Let's get down to ringside fans. Jeez, look at this guy. Man, every time he comes in the room, everything just gets colder. That's right, a chill in the air. The Lord's warrior, Lax Siddhartha, lurking his way towards the ring. Man, what a terrifying individual. When he gets it, when he makes his way to the ring, I make my make sure to know where the exits are. Do you know what I mean? I make sure to know how to get some other people between me and this this monster. I glanced over my shoulder a couple times myself to see if there was an escape route from this announce table. Oh, I don't he, even like being oh, this close to no, Laxadar. If, if he comes over this way, I'm, I'm shoving you towards him and I'm just booking it. Be probably the only time in my life I wouldn't blame you for it. Newcomer making his VIPW debut, Josh Cadwell. You can see Josh Cadwell, the look man. At this, look at this strut. With the beefy legs. You can see his shirt says it. My legs are bigger than your legs. Shaking the ring with those things. Absolutely. I didn't know anything about this. Well, Josh Cadwell might have bitten off more than he can chew right here, though. This young man Black is, is in there Look with an absolute monster. No and effect. None. See, that's the smartest thing Cadwell could do, is just run away. Nothing wrong that's with what that. I would do. Use those legs for running. Oh, he went for a sit-out sent on. It did not go his way. Oh. And able to get the Rana there. And uh, the, I believe the cranium of Siddhartha might have caught that. Crazy. That post there. Blows to the midsection here. Cadwell in control. That's right. Josh Cadwell enjoying a little bit of early control here in this matchup. Oh, a big time drop kick. Those beefy legs at Cadwell. Oh, another kick there. One more, he says. Getting ahead of steam. Oh. No. Maybe one time to the well. Too many there. It's, oh, oh, Siddhartha just flattens him with that clothesline. Just destroys him. And just lifting the man up by his throat. And driving that knee into the midsection there. Real nasty. Real nasty. Sick and twisted stuff. And Lack now sending him pillar to post. Comes Ooh. in a big time clothesline I in think the corner. The ring moved. I think the whole ring moved on that one. I think you're right. The momentum, the impact of Siddhartha. And again, sending Kedwell across the ring. Boom. Big time splash in that corner. I'm not sure Josh Cadwell has any idea where he is right now. No, not at all. He looks out of it. And again. Oh man, the impact on that one. You could see his neck just fling back. Absolutely. And now knees to the midsection here from the Lord's Warrior. Got him up. Whoa. And having to power him over. Crazy. Just dumping Cavill right on the back of his head. This could be it. No. Nope, just two from our referee. Yeah. Close two count there. Oh, and just driving the back of the man's head directly into the mat, and now cutting off that air. Referee asserting herself with a count there. Ooh. Oh, kick to the side of the temple. And Siddhartha's just laughing about it. Jeez. This sick and twisted monster is laughing about the pain he is inflicting on this man. Head of steam. Ooh, oh. Cadwell got out of the way. Yeah, Cadwell has to follow advantage. up. He has Taking to follow advantage. up. Taking advantage, that's right, going straight to that knee. 
trying to chop down the big tree that is Lax Siddhartha. And just wrapping that leg around the steel ring post. Man, he's taking out that, that left knee of and Lax Siddhartha. You see Siddhartha's in agony. Even a monster like Siddhartha, you smash his knee into that ring post, he's going to feel that. And now a choke from Kawa. Ooh. Well, if you can't win it by the book, I guess maybe it's time to take some liberties, and that's exactly what this young what man's do you mean, doing. Not by the book. It's just not in your book. He's smashing his leg into the ring post. Your book needs some more pages. Oh! Oh no. my goodness! So Dorothy just flattened him. He just caught him off guard there. How is Lax Siddhartha still standing? He had his leg wrapped around that steel post repeatedly, Shows and this monster is back on his feet. Showing very little signs of damage. I think Hodwell might have got a thumb in the eye there. Oh! Nice chop block. That's right, taking out the knee once again, concentrating on the legs of the big man. This is a good strategy here from Cadwell. And you could be thinking maybe half crab here. Yeah, nice, half Boston half crab. crab nicely cinched in. And the referee there, they are looking to see if Siddhartha wants to give this up. Now, I can't imagine that Lack Siddhartha is going to submit. But he is in agony right now, and he can't quite get. He's just inches away. He could almost get that. Oh, no, look at this. Cadwell drags him right into the center of the ring. I tell you, he's got to drag him away from those ropes because the uh, lax reach is just incredible. I'm impressed with the strategy from this young man. In an early contest for him here, he has really just gone to some great traditional wrestling here. His VIPW debut. Honing in on a body part and like what a straw to pull to have Lax and Dartha as your VIPW debut. Hey man, you, you can't pick him. You just got to make the best of them. That's right. You take every opportunity you can get when you're trying to make a name for yourself in our industry here, and that's exactly what Cavill's doing, trying to put himself on the map. But he's got his work cut out for him here, and Laxadartha was able to break that hold. Shoots Ooh. him off. Oh, big-time lariat. And a back elbow just flattens Cadwell. Oh my Ooh. goodness, what a slam. Oh no. Nice kick out by Josh Cadwell. Wow. I thought that was it. I thought this was sealed, but Cadwell, he might have been able to kick out, but I'm not sure he knows what's going on right now. He's seeing stars right now. You need to look behind you, Josh. Oh no. Oh, nice. And it looked like Siddhartha was maybe thinking F5, but another uh, go behind and then a chop block there from Cadwell taking right. advantage. Oh, and just stomping right on the ankle of Siddhartha. He's going up to that center rope now. What does Cadwell have in mind here? But Siddhartha's back to his feet already, and Cadwell's stunned. It's like he saw a ghost. Wow. Choke oh. bomb! Big time choke bomb! Man, the impact of that thing. He took him off the top rope and drove him down into the mat. Just crazy. This has got to be it. Siddhartha calling for it. Evil intent. F. Five, good night, Josh Catwell. Oh, that's gotta that's be it. it. Two, three. Our referee calls for the bell. Your winner, the Lord's Warrior, Lack Siddhartha. That's why he's the first VIPW champion. What a monster. Let's check out this replay. Look at this. That's right. Lack picks him up. Boom. Oh no, and right Cadwell was corner. able to counter Beautiful. there, driving his face into the ring post. Yeah, Cadwell had control early. That's right. And it was wrapping the leg of Siddhartha around that ring post that gave him that control, but Siddhartha was able to counter. Now the chop block, Josh went back to those legs time and time again, which was a great strategy. But Siddhartha, such an unstoppable force here. And the choke bomb off the top. 
just flattening Cabwell, and then it, it was, was the this. F5, though. Yeah. That's right. Ooh. The impact. You can see him bounce out of it. Two, three. Good night. Black Siddhartha victorious <laughs> here. Here we go. These two men collectively known as the Dog Complex. Draco making his way to the ring for one-on-one -on -one competition. That's right, straight out of the doghouse. Here comes the hillbilly hound dog himself. And his, uh, his best friend, his accomplice, whatever you want to call it. Scotty Mack, of course, never far behind when Draco's around. And here you go, business is about to pick up. You are looking at one angry redneck, and his name is BJ Laredo. That is your Anarchy Rules Champion. How does he pick this music? Like, I mean, does anyone actually listen to this stuff? I think BJ listens to it. Classic song. I don't know, at least he's big. He may not have good taste in music. He may be kind of a, you know, not the smartest guy in the round, but he's big. DJ Laredo, certainly not a small man. And I think Draco uh, may be thinking, maybe this wasn't the right match for me to take here. He's talking a lot of trash, but I can't help but notice that he's doing it from the outside of the ring right now. Trying to give these fans a little education here in Port Alberni. I like it. I think he needs to worry less about those fans at ringside and more about what he's going to have to do here to try to take that championship away from Laredo. Hey, hey, Laredo you, drawing the line. Shot for shot, the Anarchy title, huh? We haven't even done the announcements yet. Voice of VIPW there, Thomas Chow, letting the people know your contestants for this Anarchy Rules Championship match. And now, what they've got some furniture set up here in the center of the ring. I heard Draco say shot or shot. You got to be kidding me. Hey, just both men having a seat. Let's see how this thing goes. Oh, oh my man. He just slapped the taste out of his mouth. Right hands from both of these men. Oh my God, it's like one of those Russian slap boxing fights. This is ridiculous. Forearms now from both competitors. Oh, these chops. You can see the sweat flying. Oh, knife edge chop from Draco. Oh my goodness. This is some um, Puro Resu strong style stuff in the center of that ring right now, and oh my goodness. We're just hearing it on the police scanners now here in Port Alberni that shots are fired, but that's those are just the chops. Those are just the chops, folks. Would you stop? Oh my goodness, it does. I got to admit, though, it sounds like a gun going off. Absolutely. Holy cow. These fans at ringside certainly getting their money's worth tonight, and BJ Laredo... The About anarchy. to take a pound of flesh out of Draco. Oh, oh and he just threw man. him right into that solid steel guardrail. The Anarchy Rules title is on the line. Oh, you can see the hillbilly hound dog. He's, he's in agony. Oh, right to the back with that steel chair. And the Anarchy Rules champion is firmly in control right now. Take a seat, Draco. These fans are loving it. 
They're a little different out here. Oh, what's he thinking? Oh, no! Oh, oh my God! Man. No one home on the senton from Laredo, and he just set himself crashing. He flattened that chair. No one accused BJ of being the smartest guy in the world. That chair is completely destroyed, and you've got to think Laredo's back is too at this point. Oh, oh my God! Oh, man. Oh, the my impact. He, he sabooed him with that chair. Holy smokes. This thing's getting violent. This is an assault. This is a gang war. Gang war, there's only one guy out here, Draco, and he's looking like a one-man gang. This is some of the most violent stuff we've seen here in VIPW, and oh my goodness, Laredo crashing into that steel guardrail. Practically sent him right into the front row, but now he sends him right back into the ring. And you're right, Draco is right in control of this thing right now. Really, his match to lose at this point. But what is going through his mind now? What does the Hound Dog have in mind here? He's got the man in the center of the ring. Suplex. Beautiful snap suplex there from Draco. The outside here, slingshots oh. himself in. Beautiful rolling senton. And going for a cover. Just a two count. Just a two count, not enough yet to put away the Anarchy Rules champion here. Could we have a new champion tonight here? You know, Draco would love to wrap that gold around his waist. Oh, I think he's gonna win this thing. It's only a matter of time now. Well, it would certainly go a long way to asserting uh, the dog complex here as one of the top forces in VIPW if That's he were right. able to pry that championship away here tonight. Right now he's just stomping a mud hole in Laredo. Those last series of kicks just colliding with the face of Laredo as well. Oh, he's choking him now. He's choking him in the corner. And this referee can do nothing about it. There are no rules in these anarchy contests here. Anarchy rules. Oh, what's Draco oh, got? No. Oh, there was no one home. No, oh, no. Draco caught himself right trouble. on that turnbuckle. Oh! oh! Chin breaker there from Laredo. Draco's on Dream Street, look at him. That's right, he jacked him real good with that one. And Oh, huge blow from Laredo in the corner. Chop to the mouth there. Oh no, he's biting him. He's biting him like a rabid dog. Hey man, they call him the Hillbilly Hound Dog for a reason. Well, living up to his namesake here, absolutely. And now Draco just ejecting Laredo from the ring. And he's back in control of this thing right now. It's not looking good for our Anarchy Rules champion. Oh, he's got a crutch there. Whose crutch is that? I didn't see anyone with a cast on. Well, I don't think he. Uh, I don't think he's going to use oh, it to help the man he walk. Bent it That's right for over sure. his back. Did you see that? And he snapped that crutch with the force of that blow, and now he's just crushing it into the windpipe of Laredo. And he's feeling pretty good about his chances right now as Draco, but I don't know if this is time to be playing to the crowd. What's he looking for under the ring now? What else could we possibly- Oh, he's got Another a chair, you see chair. that? Oh. And just driving the edge of that chair into the windpipe and then, oh, oh right in the face. Clubbers him with it. Clobbering him over the head. Laredo could barely stand up right now. Rolling his opponent back into the ring. He's got Draco him right where he wants control. to go to the cover. Two. No. Only a two count again. And Draco, he's getting a little aggravated at this point. He wants to blame the referee's count, but he needs to concentrate on Laredo. He's gonna. He's 
pulling him up to his Ooh. feet here. Knife edge chops. Oh, oh man. And steam. Oh, big time Larry, and he just flattened Laredo. Draco just shifted gears. You see that? I think you're right. Oh, no. What does he have in mind here? Oh, come on. Maybe not the wisest move. I think Draco's got a different call of what to do with that chair. Now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Van Terminator. That's right. I think we're going to see it here, Van. Oh, see, he oh, knows much better of it. On. That's what these poor all burning. Oh! oh! Maybe he should have done it because oh, he man. just gave Laredo a chance. Nasty. Oh, he's calling for it. You know this one. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Draco Slips works out. his way out of it. Oh, and Seguri. Step up and Seguri from Draco. He slipped out of that. That's right, he was going for that package pile driver. I thought Laredo was about to put him away. Draco's body just too slippery, too sweaty from all his wrestling. And now they're both, both men out there precariously on the apron. This is a dangerous position to be in. And what is Draco thinking here? He's, he's gonna try to pile drive him to the outside. Laredo says, no way. Series of forearms. Ooh, oh my big god. Job. I think he took about a couple layers of skin off. Oh, oh my god! Death Valley driver! Destructive. I think he might have killed him. Okay, he's moving. Holy Just nasty. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Are you kidding me? BJ Laredo is a madman. And Draco is in a bad way right now. Death Valley driver. How many onto steel the chairs are under that ring? This is ridiculous. There's a freaking IKEA furniture department under there. Another. They come in different colors. This one's red. There's a whole set. Oh my oh, god! Oh man. BJ just clubbing him with that garbage can. Laredo's taking out the trash. Boom. And again, you see that connection there. Just flattening that garbage can on the cranium of Draco. Crazy. Draco seeing stars. Laredo's setting up a table for six. Oh, this is a dangerous situation He's pointing here. to the top. He's pointing there to the top. There are six steel chairs set up in that ring right now. And he's, oh my God, what does Laredo have in mind here? you got to be kidding me. Scotty Max and making his way to the ring. It's times like this we have to remind you these are trained professionals. Do not try this at home. Scotty Mack getting involved. Come on, get him out of there. Now Draco able to take advantage from the nice. top. No way, Destroyer! Nice. Destroyer! Unbelievable. Throw the chairs! What? Wow. Dome first you into the gotta chairs. You've got to be killing. It's it, one. Two what? New champion. What? How is Laredo alive? How are either of them alive? And Draco's, ha he's incensed. He cannot believe it. He thought he had this, th I thought he had this thing sealed. The level of frustration. I can't Draco imagine. Draco must be feeling. He's losing his mind. Absolutely. He saw the championship in his grasp. He could taste it. But Laredo somehow, with the wherewithal to kick out at the last possible second, Oh, this could be, this might be a good strategy by Draco here. Just finish him off with a sleeper. That's it's already right. over. Full on rear naked choke. He's got those legs locked around the mid frame as well. He's out. It's over. This, this could be it. 
all of this destruction, all of these weapons, and we could see this thing end right now with a traditional wrestling hold. You really never know what to expect in these Anarchy Rules matches. I think we got a new champion right What? You got no way. No way. Give me a break. Where is Laredo finding this? Unbelievable. Powering his way to his feet. No. No, Draco able to cinch that choke back in. And it looked like Laredo may be trying to reach the ropes, but a referee checking, seeing if Laredo wants to give this thing up. There's no quit in BJ Laredo right now. He's still trying to get to his feet. This is incredible. And just driving the back. That's right, he's trying to drive his opponents back into that turnbuckle to break the hold. That's right. And then, oh! He, Ooh. Wow, slams him down. BJ's not a light guy either. That's right, all of the way to Laredo can crashing down on top of Draco there as well. And now he might have him. Package pile driver! Oh, oh he drilled him! He no. drilled him with it! That's gotta be it! One, two, three! And that's all she rules. Still champion here. Against all odds, BJ Laredo somehow holding on to his Anarchy Rules Championship here in one of the most just violent off-the-wall contests we have ever witnessed. Just pure craziness. What a match. Let's Check go back out. and take a look at some of this action. And they Boom, were fighting big chops. around the ring, practically spilling into the crowd. And this Centaur, there was no one home. Laredo sacrificing his own body, his Kapow. own frame. Chairs were flying around here. Big suplex. Beautiful suplex. Draco Kaboom. with Centon from the apron to the inside. Ooh, jawbreaker. That's right. Just crushed him with it there. Big Larry in the corner. Oh. Another chair to the skull of Draco. This Death DVD. Valley driver. Oh, my God. Kaboom. Flattening the garbage can on the face of Draco. And this destroyer from the top rope through the chairs. Just death. Incredible carnage in the center of the VIPW ring. Chairs, bodies strewn everywhere. Oh. Laredo had to fight his way out of that rear naked choke and then drilled him with that package pile driver. Unbelievable. Finally enough to seal the deal. And PJ Laredo coming away with that Anarchy Rules Championship still in his grasp. Man, Laxa Darth, just a terrifying individual coming up with another W. An absolute anarchy in our main event, and Laredo. We're gonna feel that one for weeks. Both men are gonna feel that one for weeks. Months, possibly. Absolutely. And Laredo's still champion here tonight. Incredible match. Catch us next time on VIPW.